Hello and welcome to this uh, video on Fibonacci and Fibonacci extensions. I'm not going to go over the, the basics of it because by now you guys should have all read the, uh, the module by now. Um, we use Fibonacci to um, get price extensions, so our targets, and also to find out the retracements. And you'll find that it's very unique how uh, the Fibonacci retracements and extensions work. You'll find that wherever you put them on the chart, they will actually show up with support and resistance levels within the market. So the difference between, um, quickly, the Fibonacci retracements and then the extensions is if the price is lower than 100%, you're looking at a retracement, while the extensions are those that are above 100%. So Fibonacci levels are used for support and resistance, as I mentioned, and also to project future targets. So how do we draw them? So you need to draw them from the most recent uh, swing high or swing low in terms of uh, of a trend. So here you can see we had up we had our uptrend, we had a pullback, we made a new lower low. So this is the trend now that we're going to use. So we're going to get our Fibonacci tool. We're going to take it from the from the highest point to the lowest point. Okay. Now we're looking for a retracement either a 61%, 50 or 38. Okay, as you can see, it actually, these levels automatically tie up with support and resistance levels. And it doesn't matter on what time frame you go from, they will always, they'll all be there. So, if we had to look here, we've got this sort of M formation forming at the top, double top, whatever you want to call it as well. And so we would expect either a 61, a 50, or a 38. Now, the further back it comes, it's like pulling an elastic band. The further back, well, the, the bigger the retracement, the bigger the push to the upside. So if we get a 61 retracement, we go up, we're probably going to get another, another new high and then back down. If we get a 38, we're probably going to make a bigger bull run after that. Okay, I just wanted to go into a smaller time frame quickly. And we can show you. So let's say we were trading intraday. So now we're on the four hour time frame. So now, because we made a new lower low here, this would be the previous, the last swing high to swing low. From left to right is what you're always going to do it. And again, you can see here, the, we had a retracement, we pushed down, we then went to the 23, back up to the 38. You can see how the levels work as support and resistance. You can also see how this level here acts as our support level around this area here. It was supported, supported, we had a little breakthrough, back up, supported. And now sentiment is, is bearish, we're expecting a, to go further to the downside. If we're going to reverse this quick, hold on a sec. Um, wrong one. So if if we break this level here, this hundred percent, this is going to be our price target, the one sixty one. So if momentum carries on, if we go up to the upside, we ignore that. If it breaks, this will be our target down here. Now, coincidentally. Okay, so that is the, let's just mark this level, take this, I'm going to put that there, we're going to remove that, go back onto the daily time frame, okay, Right in between, which is on this support level here, we have to extend this. Right between the 50 and the 61 retracement levels. I'll reverse that. Thirty-eight. And the 50 which is where our targets would be for an for a retracement 
So I'm going to go on to Aussie USD so I can give you another example. Again, we're on the daily time frame from the previous high to the low. Always go from left to right. You can see we're hovering around this 50% level. You can actually see using, if we use support and resistance levels, how these levels all add up. I mean, here we were supported here, supported, 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 and now we're acting as support again. We go on to a four hour time frame. You can see twenty three thirty eight the retracement levels. And now we've actually started now. We had a downtrend here, we've started forming higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, and now we're waiting for the next push up. New Zealand USD on the daily again we had a good bull run over here from this head and shoulders pattern all the way up we've now got a possible M formation forming you can see we had a perfect 61 retracement, rallied back up, failed to break the high. So what we're potentially looking now is for if we break this, go to the 61, we start acting as support and resistance again. And how do you use Fibonacci with candlestick formations? Okay, so we know that the 61 is a retracement level. And coincidentally, we had a hammer candle right on that level, which is a potential reversal indication. And as you can see, they worked out perfectly. You would have bought above the high of the candle, and you would have gone up. So for another example, so USD CAD, okay, it's all the same level but supported. So again here we had a perfect 23 retracement, we had a 38 initially, back up to the 61 and back down, and then we had huge support here, bounced all the way up. You can see how the Fibonacci levels act as support and resistance. I mean even here, within this um, formation here, we've got support and resistance levels resisted, which actually coincides with this level. Now what we're looking for is for more bullish momentum and we get your price target of 161 but we would need to break this 100% level here alternatively we can move the the level up so if you were trading and you hadn't had that and sort of that was your level you would look to go long on the on the break of the 38 First target, you would have hit. You were waiting for your second target to be hit. Let me zoom it up. First target, second target.
we had to flip this on the reverse side and we can see that on this downtrend so let's say that was not there and we've got this action we got resisted at the 50 level one two three times nice little rectangle formation there and then back down to the 11 38 so we're looking to go up so that is how you use the Fibonacci uh, I will be doing some more um, lessons on this which I'll add subsequently after the next video and uh, we'll go more in depth on how we can use candlesticks um, with the Fibonacci trend lines with the Fibonacci and so on. Thanks for watching.